Can you tell me a better way to start a lousy weekend? Just hours from having two days to relax, these two drivers got stressed out. Their cars banged up. What happened? A lot of accidents today? There seem to be, yeah. Have anything what to do with Friday the 13th? Must be. Nonsense. Accidents don't happen because of good luck or bad luck or black cats crossing your path or walking under ladders or because it's Friday the 13th. None of that stuff makes any sense. <laughs> or does it? Tara Corum decided this would be a good day to start a weightlifting program. Bad decision, Tara. A friend of mine, Nancy Caldwell, kind of um, lifted up without me knowing. I was trying to get around her and she just kind of hooked me right in the chin. One, so, two, so three, there's four. eight. Chris Swafford started work today as a hairstylist. Starting work on Friday the 13th with scissors? Chris, are you crazy? Hey, lady, you're not going to let him cut your hair, are you? Oh, I'm comfortable, of course. Such bold defiance of superstition. But a haircut's one thing. A marriage is something else. Ronnie, will you take Melissa to be your wife? Ron and Melissa have known each other just a few weeks now. They met on the 17th, a day with a seven in it. That's lucky. They got married on Friday the 13th. That's not so lucky. But they didn't care, and neither did the dozens of other couples who tied the knot today. Can true love beat fake superstitions? Watch. Take notes. There's nothing bad about this, no? Mm -hmm. In this case, yes. In Catoosa County, without my lucky rabbit's foot, Ted Perry, New Center 12.